Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and I'm just hanging out in the workshop, having myself a cup of sanity. Mm. Warn you though, maybe habit forming. And I've noticed the rage right now on YouTube is the fidget spinner. Uh, spinny dingus that you can keep in your pocket and otherwise entertain a somewhat overactive child or overactive software engineer. And today, let's take a thrift store hacker approach and try to make one out of just some stuff I have laying around the shop. And the first thing I went to was for the base is this acrylic that I got for the underwater camera. And you can get these sheets, they're roughly about 8 by 8 They're cutoffs from larger projects. You can get them at the plastic store for 50 cents, maybe a buck. And I have a piece from uh, a previous project that's going to fit the size that I want. And I figured what would be really cool is to make one that's the size of a credit card. Now this is roughly the size of a credit card, give or take a few millimeters. And we can just put one bearing right in the middle of it and have ourselves a nice fidgety dingus. So to start off, we'll take one of these bearings here. And these bearings came from, I think they came from a skateboard or a razor scooter or something like that. You know, just something I had lying around that uh, I decided to keep the bearings out of because bearings are handy and kind of expensive on a small per part basis. And I'll put that in the center there and I'll draw a circle around the outside of it. We can clean the uh, the excess off a little alcohol later. We have our circle there. I'm going to take the drill out. Drill a hole through it. And then you know, just cast that one aside. Here's one that I prepared earlier, just like the baking shows. So I have the hole made just to the size of the bearing. It's a, it's a little off, but you know I used the biggest drill bit I had, and then I had to bring it the rest of the way out with this uh, stone on my rotary tool. Uh, probably not the right uh, tool for the project, but it did work. And then when I was done on the ends here, just like on the credit card, they're kind of rounded. So I pop my rotary tool on and just round off the edge a little bit. And nice rounded edge on them. Uh, it's not really as sym uh, symmetrical as I'd want it to be because it's just kind of a junk part, but it's close enough, it's fairly well balanced. All we have to do is take a bearing and throw it in there. Now I have several bearings here, since they're all used bearings we have to go through them first. And that one didn't really even spin at all, that's kind of garbage. This one, eh, it's got a little more gusto to it, I'll put that as a maybe. And that one is garbage. Oh, well there we go. This is probably not as good as new bearing, but is definitely the best out of the pile. Let's take a little bit of super glue. Just kind of put very little in there. You just want it to grab a hold and set up. You don't want it to leak down and uh, get into the uh, inside of the bearing. Put a little super glue in there, and we'll take our bearing, press that down in there. Ah, there we go. Now push it through just a little. Oh, too much. There we go. I push it through just a little bit more because the bearing is a little bit thicker than the acrylic. And we'll just set that there and let that set up for a second. Now I thought, you know, the, the credit card uh, size fidget spinner would also be an awesome business idea. Now if I could get, I can get the plastic cheap. Now if I can find the bearing stupid cheap somewhere, maybe we can uh, do a little detail art on here.
and you make your own fidget spinner business cards. I guarantee it might cost you a lot more to have a box of these made up, but how many people are going to play with these? I mean, look at this. That spins pretty good. Now, once you get it together, you might, you know, if you're going to fine tune this thing, you're probably going to have to still grind more off each side until you get it all balanced out. But I think that's working out pretty good here. I think next, uh, next time I go out and do some uh, physical advertising, I'm going to make up a handful of these and hand them out to fans or people I want interested in my channel. Uh, the handwriting will be definitely a lot better than just shooting it down college note speed. But uh, it's kind of a neat little idea. Took us probably, if you went out and bought everything, I would say this is probably three, maybe four dollars worth of stuff, depending on your uh, financial climate in your neighborhood. But there you have it. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and until next time, build stuff and have fun.